What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Your boy Dredd is back, hitting you guys up with a sports topic. But basically, for my boxing fans in general, it's finally going down. Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Manny Pacquiao is happening May 2nd. It's not an April Fool's joke. It's not a prank. It's not a Rick Rose. It's not none of that. This fight is really going down. Undefeated versus undisputed. The clash of the titans. And we've been waiting years for this. I mean, it only took, what, five or six years for this fight to happen? Yeah, something like that. But uh, anyway, um... I originally wasn't going to make a prediction for this video until I was 100% sure that the fight was confirmed is going to happen and the ink is dry. Now, like I said, it took five or six years for this fight to happen. They both ran through some, a couple of them have had a couple of questionable fights and a, a few classic fights, too. And I'm amazed that this fight is happening for two reasons. Well, one, because of all all the um, extra BS with the, you know, with the drug testing and Manny Pacquiao running for Congress in the Philippines and Floyd Mayweather with his troubles outside the boxing ring. I didn't think the fight was ever going to happen. And two, we're not going to get to see. We should be grateful that this fight's happened because it's not that often that this that a fight like this comes around where two fighters at the peak of their career, legends in their own right, that they meet like this. I mean, because we're not going to get to see another fight like this for about another hundred years. I mean, so yeah, we're listening. We're you know we're witnessing history in the making with this fight. Now, as far as my overall prediction, you you guys know how my prediction videos work. I'm going to break down each fighter's strengths, each fighter's weaknesses, and then I'm going to give my overall prediction of who's going to win based on that. Now, let's start with Manny Pacquiao first. Manny Pacquiao, he has um, 57 wins and 38 uh, wins by way of knockout. He's not called the Filipino slugger for nothing. The Filipino slugger, the Filipino flash, the executioner, I mean, any other name in the book. I mean, because that man has explosive power. He's known for being a, um, a very aggressive in the ring. He's known for being a um, for being a, a tornado in there. You hit me once, I hit you twice. He comes back, one, two, three, four, five. Boom, 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 punches back to back. Now, his um, his defense, his his offense is his defense. His offense and defense is one and the same. Now, against other fighters, I mean, that can, that's, that is a strength and a weakness all his own. But he's going to need to utilize that against Floyd. He's going to have to apply smart aggression. He's going to have to, you know, he's going to have to apply very, very, Accurate um, aggression. That's what he, that's what I call it. But anyway, um, now he doesn't really have too much else to work on. I mean, like he, I mean his, I mean his athletic ability is gonna carry the fight for him, and he's gonna need he's gonna need to throw punches in buttons. And not only that, he's not only gonna need to make sure he he's uh, applying aggression. He's gonna need to make sure his punches land too. Accuracy is gonna be very very key in this fight. Now, in case you guys don't know how boxing works, boxing is judged on four things. One applying pressure, you know, offensive work rate, looking like you're trying to win the fight. Number two, punch accuracy. I mean, it's pretty much self, pretty much self-explanatory. There's no point in throwing punches if they're not going to land. So you get you, you need to not only apply effective pressure, but you need to be accurate with punches. Number three, defense, making your opponent miss, making him pay, making your opponent look silly around the ring. Number four, ring generalship, pretty much all three of those qualities combined. Basically looking like you're trying to win the fight, Basically, doing anything to tip the fight in your favor. Making your opponent fight your fight, pretty much. Now, back to Manny Pacquiao. He doesn't really have too much else to work on. Now, if I I have to give Manny Pacquiao the apparent power advantage. Don't sleep on Floyd's power. Floyd has, um, Floyd's power is very deceptive. But I have to give Manny Pacquiao the power advantage. I mean, because based on his knockout ratio. Now, Manny Pacquiao's weaknesses. He struggles with two things. He struggles... Fighting going back because he's so used to going forward and he's so used to being the aggressor and that catches up to him. And two, counter punches. Now we've seen um, Floyd Mayweather. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the here's here's the other uh, contrast between the two fighters. What like in the past, the fighters that Mayweather struggled with, Manny Pacquiao beat easy, and the fighters that Pacquiao struggled with, Mayweather beat easy. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's the contrast between the two fighters. And Manny Pacquiao, he needs to work on going back more. Like, what I, what I, what I want to see more from Manny Pacquiao is, to tell you the truth, I actually want to see a little bit of role reversal. I want to see Floyd be the aggressor, and I want to see Manny Pacquiao be the counterpuncher. We, that'll make for a very, very interesting fight. But, uh, yeah, like, Manny Pacquiao, he needs to work a little bit more on boxing. He needs to apply effective pressure, and he needs to, I mean, he needs to catch Floyd coming in more instead of him going, instead of being the one coming forward, because I think Manny Pacquiao's going to be the one coming forward all night. Now, I, I made an original video for this. I, I made a prediction like two or three years back. Like I said, I never uploaded it because I wasn't sure if the fight was going to happen or not. 
I said that if Manny Pacquiao doesn't win the first four or five rounds clearly and conventionally, or if he doesn't get a knockdown, then he's not going to win the fight. Or if he does not Floyd out within the first four or five rounds, if he, he's not going to win the fight. And to tell you the truth, I kind of still hold true to that prediction that if he doesn't knock out Floyd in the first five rounds, or if he doesn't take control of the fight, that he's not going to win. But, well, I mean, we're going to see how that works out. I'm really interested to see what Freddie Roach is going to do because he's going to need a very, very effective game plan because he's powerful, but he doesn't have the size or the reach advantage. Manny Pacquiao is five foot six and a half. Floyd Mayweather is five eight. Mayweather has a two inch reach advantage. Yes, hand speed is important, but what's the point if your punch doesn't get there first? Now, the hand speed advantage, I mean, like the speed advantage, there's two kinds of speed hand speed and foot speed. The hand speed advantage, I think they both can see to the out as far as hand speed goes. The hand speed is pretty much equal, but I think Floyd does a little bit, like as far as mobility, Floyd does a little bit better job moving around the ring and dodging and blocking and pretty much making their opponent miss. Now, and but Pacquiao throws punches at weird angles. He throws a straight, then throws a right cross across the top, and then he throws to the body. But he needs to he needs to throw more body punches too, because he needs to bake more of that. He needs to do exactly what Zab Judah did in, in their fight. Now, uh, Floyd Mayweather, um, the defense advantage. He's going to have clearly defense advantage. Floyd Mayweather is a master in that ring. He makes you miss. He makes you pay. He turns your own strengths against you. Now, has he fought a fight? I mean, like, a lot of people say that Floyd Mayweather has never fought anybody like Manny Pacquiao before. And it's true. But in all fairness, Manny Pacquiao has never fought a guy like Floyd Mayweather either. And like I said, we've all seen how uh, um, Manny Pacquiao struggles against counter punchers and, and fighters who are just as fast as him. But he needs to catch Floyd coming in. He needs to be the counter puncher for once. And um, now Floyd's weaknesses. He doesn't really have too many weaknesses to exploit because Floyd, Floyd Mayweather is so adaptable in the ring that it's like, okay, I've seen how you fight, so now I'm going to use that against you. But Floyd Mayweather's weaknesses is southpaws. And guess what? Manny Pacquiao is a southpaw. Now, Floyd Mayweather is going to be coming with straight rights. Pacquiao is going to be coming with straight lefts. Floyd Mayweather is going to be jabbing with the left. Manny is going to be jabbing with the right. But like I said, the only advantage he's got is the reach advantage. And being with being fast going to determine whose punch gets there first, or is it going to be the reach advantage? I mean, and I've talked to a couple of guys on Facebook about this. I mean, like, who are you going to take in this fight as far as offensive goes? Are you going to go with... The harder hitter, Pacquiao, or are you going to go with the more accurate puncher, Mayweather? Now, um, the X factor in this fight. What does one fighter have that the other fighter doesn't have? For Manny Pacquiao, it's obviously his tenacity. I mean, his will to want to win the fight. I mean, even if he doesn't land a lot of punches, he's going to be in there. You know, he's going to be making Floyd work. He's really going to be smothering Floyd. He's going to be all over Floyd and trying to make it look like he's won the fight. Now, if Manny Pacquiao throws 100 punches around, out of those 100 punches, he's going to need to land at least 33 of those punches. And after those 33 punches, he's going to need to make sure that, I don't know, maybe even 12 of those punches even really matter or they really even hurt Floyd. He really does need to focus on, you know, jabbing to the body. And like, here's what, here's what he needs to do. He needs to, like, he is going to have to, he's going to have to take this fight the distance. Floyd Mayweather's Philly Shell defense, they say that it's his biggest strength. But guess what? It's also his biggest weakness, too. And sure, what I'm about to tell him, what I'm about to tell you guys right now is gonna determine how this fight's gonna go. He's gonna need to hit Floyd in the arms. He's gonna need to take Floyd's arms away from him. He's gonna need to hit him in the he's gonna need to take that Philly shell and that shoulder roll away from him. He's gonna need to hit him in the elbows, the shoulders, he's gonna need to hit him in the forearms. Sure, it's not gonna really count as a copy box because copy box only counts for a head chest and admin punches and punches to the side and then punch to the rib cage. So he's gonna need to wear Floyd out. He's gonna need to walk the kind of you know drag Floyd out and really tire him out. So he needs to punch him in the arm so many times that by three quarters of the way through the fight, by the eighth, ninth, tenth round, Floyd's arms feel like jelly or his arms feel like, you know, they're cement blocks. He's gonna have to drag him to the point where he Floyd he's he has to he has to um where Floyd can't rely on his defense anymore. And he has to fight Manny hands up. He's got to fight him straight up. But um, now, as far as what um Manny Pac, what uh, Floyd Mayweather has that Manny Pacquiao doesn't. Here's two things that um are, are Manny Pacquiao's weakness. Two things that are Manny Pacquiao's Achilles heel. One, 
counter punches. We've seen that against um his fight with um his numerous fights with um Muhammad Well Marquez. And like I said, Manny Pacquiao struggled with him four times, but Floyd Mayweather beat him easy. And probably it was because of the size advantage too, and probably because he was making um uh, he was making Marquez chase after him. Now Manny Pacquiao struggles with counter punches, and we're gonna see Floyd do something that a lot of Manny Pacquiao opponents don't do. Body punches, body shots. Now uh, Zab Judah hung with uh, Floyd Mayweather for the first four rounds, four or five rounds of that fight until he started timing um, Zab Judah coming in. And I say, like, out of all of Floyd's opponents, um, Zab Judah, like, well, besides Manny Pacquiao, Zab Judah is pretty much his fastest opponent to date as far as hand speed and mobility. But he just, um, his deep, he tired out. He um, wore Zab out. And guess what? It was with body punches. Now, and body punches, like I said, are Manny Pacquiao's Achilles heel because a lot of people don't go to the body. They're too busy headhunting Manny Pacquiao and trying to get him out. And a lot of the punches miss because Manny Pacquiao, he, uh, he ducks so low under the punches. And then that gives Manny Pacquiao time enough to come back with a two, three punch combination. So, yes, he's going to need to, uh, uh, Mayweather is really going to have to apply punches to the body. And then he's going to he's gonna have to hit Manny Pacquiao coming in because... I've watched uh, both uh, Floyd Mayweather fights where he went up against um, where he went up against Marcos Maidana, and he caught Maidana a lot, especially in the first round of the first fight where he was on the ropes. Now, when he's on the ropes, when Manny Pacquiao is on the ropes against uh, an opponent, he usually tees off on him. And but when you get Floyd Mayweather up against the ropes, guess what? He's right where he wants you to be. So he gives you a position where he can counter, can when he can move against you, and when he makes you miss and makes you pay. Now, um, for a final final thoughts, a final prediction. As it stands right now, I'm gonna say, as far as the the strength of weakness and who does a better job of what they do, I'm gonna have to say that I'm gonna give this fight to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Eight rounds to four, but Manny Pacquiao is gonna have to bank those first four or five rounds to have a chance, or he's gonna need a convincing knockdown. A la, when I say convincing knockdown, I mean you know he's not that flash knockdown that happened in the Zach Judah fight. But um, just so you guys won't think I'm biased, and if you guys want a more in-depth breakdown, I'll tell you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a six-part mini-series on what fight each fighter needs to do to beat the other one. I'm going to do three videos on Manny Pacquiao, what he needs to do to win, and three on Floyd Mayweather, what he needs to do to win. But anyway, tell me, leave you guys predictions and comments below. Let me know what you think of the fight, who you think is going to win. I'm out, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.